Hey everyone, welcome back to another Let Us Guardian scripting tutorial. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can change the walk speed of your character in the game. So I'm going to show you how you can permanently change it. So when players join the game, they automatically have a different walk speed. And I'm also going to show you how you can change your walk speed when you hit some bricks. So when I hit this green brick, I walk super fast. And when I hit the red brick, I go much slower. If you want the assets for this, check out the link in the description. And if you get stuck at any point or have any questions, check out our Discord server and the link for that is also in the description. For those of you who want to increase walk speed in your game permanently, come up to starter player and scroll down a little bit until you see character walk speed. And 16 is the normal walk speed for Roblox characters. And if you want characters to constantly walk faster, for example, you can set it to 30. Um, if you want them to constantly walk slower, you can set it even lower. And yeah, so that's how you can easily change the walk speed within your game. Now, if you want to change it when a player hits a brick or something, let me show you how to do that. So let's make a brick here. We'll make two. Um, we'll make a green one here and we'll call this fast and we'll make another one here. We'll make this one red and we'll call this slow. And let's just make sure that both of these bricks are anchored. So I select both by dragging my mouse over them and hit the anchored button. And let's go into our fast brick and add in a script. So we can say script.parent.touched connect and we get hit. Um, so every time the brick is touched, we want to do something with the part that touched it, which we call hit. Um, local character is going to be our hit.parent. So if, you know, if our character's leg touches the brick, our leg.parent will be our character. Within our character, we get the humanoid. And we can say here, humanoid, sorry, character, find first child, humanoid. And we have to remember Roblox games are dynamic experiences. The thing that hit our brick might not actually be um, a, a character. So we have to check that. I made a little typo here in humanoid, extra A. Um, yeah, so we can check that. So if not humanoid, then return. So if the thing that hit our brick isn't a humanoid, just ignore it. And because this is our fast brick, we can say humanoid dot walk speed equals 30. So if I test the game and walk up to our green brick. So uh, my, I, have, I have my normal walk speed. And when I hit the brick, I go super fast. And what we can do is we can just copy our script and right click on slow and click paste into. And rather than setting the speed to 30, we can set it to say five. So if I test out the game now, when I hit the fast brick, I go super fast. And when I hit the red brick, I go much slower. So that's how you can change the walk speed of your character in the game. If you want the assets for this, check out the link in the description. If you have any questions, check out our Discord server. And I hope to see you guys in the next video.